No, no, stay. It's not bad. Hiding place. You see, I don't uh, know anyone, so I feel awkward just standing and staring at people. Oh, should I put on my jacket? Oh, I never know the rules. Here. Oh, um, I'm Laurie. Theodore Lawrence, but I'm, uh, I'm called Laurie. Too much. Um, so, who are you staring at? Uh, you, actually. What, uh, what game were you playing? <laughs> I don't know, but I think I won. <laughs> who else? Well, I was... I was quite taken with that one. That's Meg. That's my sister. She's completely bald in front. Is it true that you lived in Italy among artists and vagrants? <laughs> well, my mother was Italian, a uh, pianist. Grandfather disapproved of her. Truly? I saw a play like that once. Do you like the theater? Oh, yes. Were you born there? Where? In, <laughs> in uh, Italy. Do you speak French or Italian? English at home. Francais à l'école, the music conservatory in Vevey. But grandfather's having me tutored now. He insists I go to college. Oh, I commit murder to go to college. Mm. Actually, I'm going to Europe. Well, at least I hope I am. My great-aunt March says she'll go one of these days, and she has to take me with her because I work as her companion. I have to read to her for hours and hours, but I do all the voices. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you do. If I weren't going to be a writer, I'd go to New York and pursue the stage. Are you shocked? Very. Friends of mine from college, Freddie Vaughn and April Watson. They won't bite. No, don't sit there. Sit here. Sit here, child. Oh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I should have given it to you long ago. It belonged to my little girl, who had to leave us when she was very young. But now, it will make music again. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lawrence. 
Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Play something. so long. Hail the conquering graduate. Is grandfather exceedingly proud? Yes, and exceedingly bent on locking me up in one of his offices. Why is it Amy may paint China and you can scribble away while I must manfully set my music aside? Why must you? If I don't, I'd have to defy grandfather. Yes, and not the whole of society. I can't go against the old man. When I imagine myself in, in that life, I can think of only one thing that would make me happy. Um, no, Teddy, Teddy, don't. No, Teddy, we have to talk about this reasonably. Since the moment I clapped eyes on you, what could be more reasonable than to marry you? We'd kill each other. Nonsense. Oh, neither of us can keep our temper. I can, unless provoked. We're both stupidly stubborn, especially you. We'd only quarrel. I wouldn't. Oh, you can't even propose without quarreling. <laughs> Joe. Dear Joe, I swear. win every argument. <laughs> I'll take care of you and your family. I'll give you every luxury you've ever been denied. You won't have to write unless you want to. Grandfather wants me to learn the business in England. Can't you see us bashing around London? What? Oh, Teddy, I'm not fashionable enough for London. You need someone who's Elegant and refined. I want you. Teddy, please don't ask me. Teddy, I'm desperately sorry. No. But I do care no. for you. With all of my heart, you're my dearest friend. I just can't go be your wife. You say you won't, but you will. I won't. I won't. One day, you'll meet some man, a good man, and you will love him tremendously. And you will live and die for him. Please. You will. Joe. Oh, you. And I'll be hanged if I stand by and watch. Mm. 